Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today I am going to try and solve the clue box by ID Venture. This should take me around 60 minutes and it has a backstory about the Schrodinger's cat, the Austrian scientist, blah blah blah. So you can pause it and read it just now. We'll quickly open the box and see what's in the box. And then this is how it looks like. And let's see how long it takes me to solve this puzzle, shall we? Okay, so let's start the clock and we'll talk along the way. So this is the box itself. There are lots of gears that you can turn. And a little bit of a story about this box. ID Venture made this to become one of the, what they call it, a handy escape room puzzle. It's an interactive puzzle box with various puzzles in it. And you have to solve it in sequence. So it's also a sequential discovery puzzle. It's an escape room puzzle in a handy format as it says. Okay so now checking out the parts and it says start here. Just zoom in closely so you can have a look. Start. So I guess this is where we start the puzzle. And there's an arrow, a line of arrows pointing towards something. Nothing else in the other pullouts. So I'll just check if I've missed anything. Nope, and the start, that's the only start word here. And I'll follow the arrow and see where it points. There's an eye on one side, and there are these bits where I can't pull out. These gears turn, but I can't pull this out, so the gears should be in some sort of, I'd say, combination lock, so I can pull out some of the keys. And this doesn't move, so I think I have to pull the key out before I can move these gears. And the key here seems to be locked in by these four layers of levers. So I don't think I should skip any step as it says it is a sequential discovery. And I will just follow the start. And this start piece, before I go to the arrows, you can see that there are some pictures and there should be some sort of code that I have to decode and I should get the password or the keyword before I can solve the puzzle. Okay, so following the arrows from the start, it points up to the top of the box and then it goes round the box and then points towards the bottom, these five pieces here. At the moment, I don't know what these five pieces are, but after wiggling a little bit and turning it a bit, I can take it out. There are two holes here in this piece, and it seems that these five pieces should be. I should be able to take out these five pieces here. So the second piece is, has three holes. Then the next one has one hole, four holes, and the last one has five holes. So these seems to be keys with one, two, three, four, five holes respectively. And now back to the box itself. Let's see where I should put these keys. And now I see these rectangular shaped holes with some sort of dimples in. I found that there are there is one dimple here. It may mean something. And then here two semicircles three and this one has four i think and i assume there will be oh this is a four and just now that one was a five so i've put all the keys into the respective holes here so the first key then the second key then the third one here the fourth one on this side and the front and then the last one the fifth one at the top now let's see what happened after putting all the keys inside it's nothing on the top on the sides nothing happens it doesn't turn so it's just slotting in but now I realize something protruded out at the back so this part here came out 
it wasn't here before so Kino 4 actually pulled the the next clue out from the box and here this is our new clue it looks just like some kind of ticket with torn edges and then for the next few minutes three minutes or so I tried to figure out what that clue was all about I know there is something to do with unlocking something there's a combination here but I just don't know where to apply it until I tried to observe the box a little bit more in detail and from the side I realized that the gears are not just normal gears but there are actually pictures on the side of the gear here and these look really familiar because these are the icons that was showing in one of the clues that we poked the number four key in so this gives me the clue for the next step where I have to follow the sequence and use the first clue as a key to input the combination into these gears okay so I think the first key is this one which is from the first clue then I'll just copy it so I can input the sequence easier when I don't have to rotate the box around so these are the first two keys and then there are the third one how I know this is the third one is because the edges of the ticket type thing is corresponding so the next one should look something like a trapezium so it's this one here and it has a Z and a 7 figure here so I chased around the box to make sure I have all the combinations and sequence correct so this one goes here the next one here with the two U shapes and then the semicircle one here with a triangle and then the last one I think should be oh, not the last one here there's a, some sort of a devil type figure and then there are two small semicircles at the end which should lead us to two three four five six seven so there should be seven seven icons one two three four five six seven so we have all the icons that we need and now we just have to input it to the gears okay so once the combination lock is properly aligned with the combination input correctly this locking mechanism or the bolt should be able to be removed freely like so now once the locking me mechanism is the bolt is taken out these larger gears can be turned freely and what do they do there is a small window on the bottom as you can see where there are letters that turn when the gears are turned and the gears on both sides turn together when I spin one of them the other ones turns as well so maybe the two letters on both windows corresponds to something not sure yet so I've decided to write them down and see if it makes any sense so the sequence doesn't make sense but what I've realized is that both sides have the same number of letters or figures so that means they should be corresponding to each other and it is likely that it's some sort of a decoder but what is the secret message? what's the decode? so my camera overheated when I was struggling to find the code for decode now I just swap back to Full HD so that my camera will not re overheat so quickly and I am still struggling to find 
the code I have to work on. Then I try to improvise and see if I can decode these pictures on the side of the box. But then it just doesn't make any sense. And then struggling for another 20 minutes or so, I realized that this eye here with a hole, I haven't used it at all until now. And there is some sort of white colored piece of paper flying around when I was trying to move the box around. I'm sorry about the camera angle, it's not catching it properly because I was just too concentrated on the box but now here we go and there we have some sort of code we have an equal sign and a 7 here and I have to tap it softly to see how I can move the piece it's quite counterintuitive because I have to tap the opposite side of the box to make it move so if I want the white piece to move upwards I have to tap the top of the box if I want it to move to the left I have to tap to the left and it's a very small piece of wooden block I think and I'm running out of space on my boogie board but I'll try to write it down so it's some sort of it's quite a long message inside and by using the decoder I can write down and translate these messages into something that makes a lot more sense so there's a star a lamp a ring and a magnet so I have four different English words which corresponds to these pictures here and I just have to move these sliders on the side and hopefully this will unlock part of the box and yep it surely does Now I just have to remove this key number 5 that we put in earlier in the puzzle and remove this piece and I think we have solved it. In 55 minutes or almost 56 minutes and it seems there is some sort of a message in the compartment. Some sort of magnet and it says Schrodinger's Cat Rescuer and there's a QR code. I took out my phone and quickly scanned the QR code to make sure I'm not missing out anything at the end and surely this is the leaderboard and basically to register that I have completed the box. So that was the whole puzzle solving and now it's time to put it back together again and during putting it back together again I'll just quickly share my thoughts about this puzzle and what I think about it and to do a very quick review. So this Schrodinger's Cat puzzle by ID Venture, I think it's it's one of the first time I played with these type of escape room box puzzle. I think really they made these box puzzles become a more mainstream type of puzzle in the puzzling community and it is quite well received in the community actually. It's a twist in terms of it's basically a sequential discovery puzzle which I've mentioned earlier it's pretty good fun it's it can be played alone and you just have to sit down for an hour it's quite accurate as you can see it took me around 55 minutes although I was stuck for around 20 minutes to try to find a secret code the overall solving experience that you and you saw me solving it, it was fun. Yeah, the puzzle, I, I wasn't a big fan of the final part, maybe because it stumped me to where I have to find the secret code through the eye hole. But other than that, I think everything makes a lot of sense and it has a good flow throughout the solve. The clues are clear enough, the parts are big enough so it's not tricky to handle. The There are hints on their own website so if you are really stuck you can actually go on the website and look at the clues and at the end after I've solved it I have looked into the hints and it's 
pretty good. So uh, you will never be forever stuck with this puzzle. Are uh, any of the puzzles very aha type or really amazing type of puzzles? I think it's not that type of surprising. It's it's targeted at the mass market, so I think this is just the right combination of challenge and fun and it's not targeted at hardcore puzzlers like me who are looking for unique mechanisms to get that solving rush after all at around 40 US dollars in Amazon I think this is quite a good value puzzle to solve and to play it can be reset as you can see so you can pass this around after you've solved it and just challenge your friends so that 40 US dollars can be shared amongst a lot of friends and that means the value just shoots up I'm not a big fan of sequential discovery puzzle but this one I think I will give it a pretty good ID Venture actually made a few more similar clue box puzzles I think they have made three this one is the first one, the Schrodinger's Cat, and then the second one was, is the Davy Jones Locker, and the third one on Kickstarter is the Captain's Nemo Nautilus. Will I get the second and the third one? Maybe not, but if someone gives to give it to me for free or just give it for a review, wink wink, then I am very very happy to solve it and review it. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed solving the Schrodinger's Cat Clue Box Puzzle together with me. And hopefully you can get a feel of how these type of puzzles work. If you have solved the remaining two, the Davy Jones Box and also the Nautilus Box, let me know in the comments below and share your thoughts if those are better than this one and recommend if I should get those also. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to respond as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. Click the like button also if you like this video, and click the bell icon next to it so you won't miss my next video. And take care, I will see you in the next video. Bye!